uh, molecules, then we have to use uh, our molecular weight and our Avogadro's number. So, uh, starting here, 28.5 grams of TNT per stick of dynamite. How are we going to, what do we want to do? Okay, we're going to go um, one mold, and then with one mold, we're going to make it 6.02 times 10 to the so 23rd. Grams to what? We're going to go, we're going to, I want one mole of that. Mm -hmm. So how do we do one mole? Okay, so I'm going to work one gram at the bottom. So one. No, 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 one. I saw that a lot. I saw it so many times. I don't know where you guys are getting that one. This is our relationship, it's just like this. Okay. Okay. Two, uh, uh, sorry, 227 per grams per mole. So it's, okay. per so it's a bridge unit. It's one of those bridge units that you can flip back and forth. Okay. In this case, not one gram. But we're going to go two point, what are we doing? We're going to go 227 grams per right. right. And that's going to equal one mole. For every one mole. Mm -hmm. right. so a, lot, a lot of people did that. I saw that's that. Yeah. I was like, what the heck is, where is this one coming from? A lot of times it didn't have unit or Because I'm trying to get rid of the gram. That's why yeah. I was trying to get rid of it. And it's not that important to you, that point fourteen, right? It's not going to make a big difference. No, no, it's not going to be too important. I mean, um, you know, a lot of times I'll ask it uh, to, for you guys to put it in three uh, significant figures or something. So, um, uh, or, sorry, um, and... Uh, scientific notation with a certain decimal place after the, uh, you know, the, the tenth place or something. So I'll try to be pretty specific. Um, like I said, this late in the game, I'm not going to worry about six digits. Um, okay, now we've got moles. What do we need? Now we got to figure out the, um, we got to put that avocado's number. Yeah, we got to use all those numbers. That's sure. good. And we can do that. Um, so for every one mole, we get how many particles? Or how many uh, molecules? Six point zero two times ten to the twenty third. Mm -hmm. Right, the twenty third. Is it the twenty third? Yeah. And that's uh, on the bottom. Oh, okay. Now. Okay. Now, uh, we wanted molecules. Do we get the molecules? Well, let's see. Grams cancel. Moles cancel. We're left with molecules. Yep. We're left with those bad puppies. So it is. Oh, hold on. this one's great. It is good. Those are gourmet muffins. No. That's good muffin. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's going to be a lot harder to talk to. Now, the way I set up problem number three was to. That's a green, green cheese problem, too. Okay. Uh, how I set up part three, where we're actually going to Adams, you can. Just to add on to this question, I mean, literally, I don't really necessarily want you guys to do this whole setup again, but just to say, now, if I'm asking not for molecules, if I'm asking for atoms of oxygen, if I have 6.0 times 10, 2 times 10 to the 23 molecules, and each molecule, this whole Thing, uh, six atoms mm -hmm. of oxygen. What do I need for my last relation? Oh, atoms. Okay. So we're going to use it. At the bottom there, we're going to go one mole. Now we can now go we one, one mole. mole. Now yeah. we can go one mole. If you would put six of the oxygen yeah, at the top. Exactly. Um, so the only only uh, that point would be is one molecule. One molecule. Uh, per uh, uh, six atoms of oxygen. Uh, and then you got your answer. Yeah. And, and um, yeah, let's see here. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to calculate that really quick, but if you have that set up, um, you know, that's how what you're doing. Um, I got some numbers on this one. Um, I don't have, um, I don't think I got all the right numbers, but you guys have the right idea, right? Um, so, but the main thing is, the way that I set up this problem is to have you guys step through each individual portion of the problem to kind of help you, you know, so that's what I would do on the last portion of the, the final. Asking the same questions, maybe changing some of the numbers, stuff like that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Alright. So, does that make sense? 
Um, the next one is really good. It's a balancing chemical equation problem. It was a very challenging problem. Um, so, uh, and we'll start a little bit. Of that. Uh, so it was balancing the uh, explosion that occurs when uh, TNT uh, goes off. And so, it was challenging. I, you know, a lot of people did uh, pretty well on it. I also broke the question up into smaller pieces. Um, there are four points in the question. Actually, balancing the question was only worth um, uh, two of the points, and then the other two were like, is this reaction reversible? Is a redox reaction? Okay? So uh, we definitely need to go over that. Um, best for geometry stuff. I'm going to not go over that question. Uh, look at your lab. Look through your lab, you got a bunch of examples right there. I went through and corrected them. Um, and I thought that was a really important one. I went through and, you know, okay. Um, but, but I would definitely uh, understand how to do that. Uh, you guys get a balancing question on three of the four exams, okay? I'm looking just right here, just to, I have a balancing uh, a combustion, balancing, or uh, sorry, balancing chemical equation of acid and a base, and then balancing combustion. It's going to be an important concept, okay? Um, all right, so <coughs> you are given C. Alex. I'm used to, thank you. C7, H5, N3, O6. And um, I give you guys the breakdown product of this, uh, which was good. Uh, carbon, I'm not going to worry about states of matter. Um, uh, carbon monoxide plus N2 plus H2O, and actually really fast, you get gas, 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 and a solid. Uh, interestingly enough, it's that expansion of going from a solid to a gas that creates a huge explosion, right? Okay, uh, same thing as how your uh, car thing works. Sorry, this is a little, yeah, but we'll get through it. Uh, here, I actually rewrite it as we do the problem. How's that? Yeah. So, um, we're starting with our, uh, our C7H5N3O6 compound. What do you guys want to start with? I'm going to start with C. You want to start with C? Okay. Because is it right that hydrogens and the oxygens make an uneven number? There's no language in it. What? But we have to put the two in front of the C. Well, so I really like your idea. Yeah, that's not the uh, Because you're not balancing anything that's, in, you know, it's a single portion. Um, so let's give it a shot. There's no other uh, compounds. I think that, um, you know, starting there, uh, possibly starting with nitrogen also would be a good spot to start. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys want to start with carbon? Or nitrogen. Nitrogen. Okay. So um, we've got three nitrogen, and we have N two is our final product. So we're going to have to rectify that. So what do you guys think? Um, you guys want to start with three N two? Three N two. Because that will be something that we can end up with the right thing. Okay. Um, I'm going to back this off. Um, three N two. I'll, I'll finish this thing out and. We'll work our way backwards. So plus we have uh, some number of CO plus uh, some number of C, and then finally plus some number of H2O. Now, if we work backwards from where we started, um, we also need to figure out how many of the original molecules. Uh, if we have three N2s, we only have so that's six nickel. We need two in. We need a two right here. Okay. All right. And now let's just see if we can uh, uh, fill in blanks. I say we focus on. Um, well, let's look. Uh, so we have 14 carbons. We have two places to put carbons, right? Right? 14 carbons, and we've got two places, so let's just split one. Let's say seven carbon goes here, seven carbon goes there. Okay. Uh, now we just need to figure out if we can get oxygen uh, and hydrogen to balance down there. Uh, we have, um, uh, sorry, balance across the thing. We have hydrogen in only one place, so let's start with this. Yeah. So if we have 10 hydrogens, 
Then we would need how many uh, dihydrogen bond oxides? Five. Five? Okay. And then, so now we've used up five of our oxygen. We had 12. Does that going to work? Yep. All right. Seven. How do we know it's going to work? Because seven plus five is 12. Yeah. Because we did really fast in our head, we balanced what we should have on each side. So here we should have 14 carbon, 10 hydrogen, 6 nitrogen, and 12 oxygen. Okay? Um, with that, we need to also have that same amount on the other side. Remember that a uh, chemical equation is just like a mathematical equation. If you have an equal sign, which in this case, this guy just means equals, you know, although it also uh, gives directionality to it, right? Um, then we need to be able to balance this thing. Um, so do we have 14 carbons on this side? Well, yes, we do. Uh, do we have um, 10 hydrogens? Uh, yes, we do. Do we have um, enough nitrogen? Yes, we do. We have six. We have six. Well, we have. Three times two? Six. Yeah, no, the hydrogens, but they're. Oh, okay, never mind. The two applies to the all of them. And then um, it, well, it applies to 